So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa three-door on a 19 plate. I'm going to hop inside the car first of all and run through just a few of the controls. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. And then beneath that, the main trip computer, which includes the total mass of this car. They are 23,301. We have a digital readout for the speedometer above that. Using controls on the indicator stalk, you can change out for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. On the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after you pair the phone up to the car which uh, is done over on the central screen just here. So if you went to the home screen, uh, you'll see we now have the phone icon. Tap that and follow the instructions on screen from there. Um, this car's also got satellite navigation. We've done a video showing how the SatNav works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. When it comes to audio, we go back to the menu we started on. And you can see that we've got AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input and Bluetooth audio as well. So you can stream your music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls. Over on this left hand side, we can make the power steering lighter by turning on the city mode. We have a heated steering wheel, heated passenger seat, heated driver seat and deadlock so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. Beneath that, we then have the air conditioning so you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed and the direction of the air. The air conditioning is on at the minute. That's off and back on. Uh, you can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you set over here. And then we have a 12 volt charging socket, USB input and a five speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULIS compliance car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.